Hi again. So uh, we will solve now uh, the exercise 10, which is about uh, uh, zigzag level order. So we need, we need to write a function that takes as input a tree. So it, uh, it's a dynamically implemented uh, tree so with pointers. And we need to print the tree in zigzag. So from left to right and then from uh, right to left. So here's an example. So we have this tree. So while printing the uh, uh, the tree in, in uh, uh, zigzag, so we'll print 5, then 35, 7, 11, 8, 15, 9, and 0. So they are telling us to use uh, two stacks. So let's see uh, how. So this is the way of the traversal. So uh, you should uh, pay attention that sometimes we need to traverse the right uh, child before the left one and in, an, in the other direction the left and uh, the right and we need uh, uh, to keep the uh, order of the children so uh, by order so they are telling us use uh, two stacks one for the even levels and one the old level so or one for the current level and one for the next level so let's see the example here so we have this tree so at first we will push the root of the tree in the current level so we'll push the uh, not just the element but the tree the pointer five and then we will loop over the current level stack so this is the first stack so we don't care about the name just we will loop over the first stack and we will try to push the its uh, its children so first we will push the left in the next level in the second stack as two so we'll push seven and then we will push 35 and here, so whenever we are doing that, so we'll uh, pop the element 5 from the first tag and print it. So now the uh, I have uh, the, the first tag is finished, so I move to the second stack. So I'll pop an element and I will push its children. However, here, so I will take the 35, however, I will start from the right children and then push the left children. So I will push 15 and then I will push the 8. So now I have finished the element 35, I will pop it, I will display it on the screen, which is equal to 35. And again, I will keep looping on this uh, stack. So I will take the top element, which is now 7, and I will check its right children. So there is no right child here, so there is just one left child. So I will push 11 in the first stack. And now, after popping the 7 from S2, from the second stack, I will display it. And now the stack is empty, and then I will move to the first stack, so 11. I will try to push its uh, left ch child in the second stack, so I will push 0, the node 0, and I will display 11 on the screen, pop the element, and I will move to the element 8, so 8 doesn't have a left child, it has just a right child, so I will push 9, the node containing 9, and S2, and I will display 8, and then I will pop 15, and there is no children here. Then I will move to the second stack since the first stack is empty now. So 9 it doesn't have nor a right a child nor a left a child and the same for 0. And this is it for the uh, traversal in zigzag for the tree. So let's move to the implementation. So for the implementation we'll be using uh, a B tree. So I've, I have just kept the uh, construction of a B tree. So I will not use the empty B tree and the left and right stuff. We will use a stack. So the element in, in B3 is just uh, an integer, so this is the tree. However, in the uh, stack, we will have element 1 of type B3. So in the stack, I will have pointers to uh, trees. So I have used the same implementation of stack. So create stack is empty full, push, pop, and top. So in the main, I have created uh, the tree, the one in the example here. So the first I have created 5, and then I have 2 left tree and ri right sub tree. And I have constructed this tree and then I have called the uh, print uh, function which is print level order zigzag that will print the uh, tree in zigzag level order. So as we have seen we need to uh, start. So let's start. So we can call it either current level or next level. I will call it here S1 and S2 so it's more easier. And since we will be using a uh, top uh, so we will be use an element 1 so you, either you can call it element 1 or you can directly call it a b3 so it's up to you I will call it b3 I will call it node uh, node and let's uh, create both stacks and then so we need to push 
the first element which is B into the first stack. So push into S1 B and then I will loop over. I will loop until the the the, the stack is not empty and I, I will loop over both stacks. So as long as S1 is not empty, so not is empty stack S1. I will try to work with S1 and then loop over S2. So for this, I will have two loops inside the while loop. One loop for the S1 and one loop for the S2. So while, so as long as I have a top element into S1, so I will always start from S1 and end in S2. So S1, address of node, so I can pop it directly, pop S1, address of S1, and I will try to push its element into uh, the uh, S2. So I will print it here. So uh, I will pop S1. So obviously I don't have any, uh, so print F, percentage, percentage D, node arrow data, and then so I will check if node arrow left here is different than null. I will push, so let's write it here, it's more. I will push into S2 here, the element node arrow left. And if the node has a right child, I will push the right into S2. And this is it for S1. So when I finish S1, I need to repeat the same thing for S2. So this is just one round. So one round is, is S1 and S2. So as long as I have an S2, there's an element in S2, I will pop it. I will print its value. However, here, I will push the right part before the left side. So I will push in S1, the right side, and then the left side. And this is it. So as easy as that. So let's run and see if we have some errors. So we have the output 535, okay, 7118, 7118, 15, 9, and 0. So it, it's a very uh, easy uh, exercise. Not that easy. It's a four-star exercise. So it just uh, uh, you need to, to, to manipulate two stacks, the same type of stacks. Uh, and uh, uh, binary tree. So, and this is it for this exercise. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to drop me a message and I will answer you back. And again, thanks for watching.